as you seen in the thumbnail we have given that three minutes to write this theorem there is no need of brain and no need to memorize first of all i want to clear that we are not proving this theorem mathematically we write some steps logically and some steps by our trick let's start the theorem first we see the statement of the theorem if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct point then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio in a statement a triangle here is a triangle so we need one triangle so just draw a triangle name as abc then a line drawn parallel draw a line parallel here name as de the first step of theorem is data in data we write what do you see in this figure a triangle is there abc and one line is parallel to bc so write this in data in triangle abc de is parallel to bc next step is to proof in ab there are two segment is there first is ad and pd right half of portion of this side first portion of ab is ad divided by ad divided by bd likewise here also two segment is there first is ae ec next step is construction uh, for construction see here we have some students want to climb this hill or mountain so we are giving instruction those students who are starting climb this hill from b should follow this rope first this rope and then climb this pole to reach n one more time student who is starting from b should be follow this rope and climb this pole and reach n okay n is standing on a b next student who want to start climbing from c they have to go this rope and climb pole d m pole d m is second pole we use pole 1 and pole 2 in construction and proof also so remember first pole is e n and second pole is d m so we write construction first we draw be and then dc so we can write here join be and dc next draw first pole en standing on ab okay en first pole is standing on ab and second pole second pole is dm is standing on ac this symbol stands for perpendicular we just remember like that he is standing on AB. Next step is proof. Proof is very easy. First we write this ratio that is AD divided by BD equation 1. Next this one AE divided by EC equation 2. See here how we writing draw two lines for dividation put half 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 and half 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 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 first write 
this one that is ad divided by bd here we write ae ec into 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 then for first ratio we write first pole that is our first pole is en en for second equation we write second pole that is dm and dm combine this for next step so we can write here ade triangle a d e here we write triangle b d e here triangle a e d and here triangle e c d right area 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 we almost done here for third equation we take this and this triangle denominator triangle this one and this one right area of a b d e is equal to area of this one that is triangle e c d this one from axiom 1 from equation 1 2 and 3 we can write again we write this one that is ad divided by bd is equal to ae divided by ec here to prove is same and we prove here theorem this was a easy method to write to student with a little bit practice you can write this in a three minute we have given in thumbnail three minutes if you write or practice two to three times you are able to write this theorem in two to 2.5 we given the average time three minutes so hope you like this video please like subscribe and share our channel thanks for watching